Skin Cancer Action Week. And so to celebrate and to remind everyone that they have to wear sunscreen, especially with summer just around the corner, we decided as a brand to go down to Bondi Beach. Sunscreen! <laughs> And we were giving out sunscreen, spraying people with sunscreen, and just basically talking to them about sun safety. Australia is still a sunburnt country. In fact, 40 years after the Slip Slop Slap campaign, we're now three times more likely to be diagnosed with melanoma at some point in our lives. Slip, slop, slap. For some reason, that message hasn't really resonated, and especially not with the Gen X and the Gen Ys and the Gen Zs, because that is where skin cancer is most prevalent now. We really do have a skin cancer crisis in Australia, and it is only getting worse. Samantha Brett is the founder of a sunscreen company, but her key method of marketing has just been turned on its head. I'm very happy for the TGA to put a ban on influencers or anyone spruiking any dangerous products. But when it comes to sunscreen, it is not a dangerous product. It is a product that can save your life. She's been caught up in a decision by the Therapeutic Goods Administration to ban paid testimonials on social media. The TGA says it's to protect consumers from a wave of misinformation online. There's a lot of promotion by influences of medicines and medical devices in areas they're not really qualified to to promote and uh, we are worried about the impact that can have on people's health hello guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about a peptide melanotan is a, is a really cool peptide because it, it actually tells you your body to produce melanin so you can kind of get a gist or an idea of how much people's skin color can actually change the latest product on its radar is called melanotan it's been dubbed the Barbie drug and promises to give users a tan without the sun. But on social media sites like TikTok and YouTube, there's little mention of the risks. This is the safest and fastest way to achieve that. There is often a change in the appearance uh, of many of their moles such that it can be difficult to detect melanomas or sometimes clinically for us to exclude melanoma. There have also been rare case reports of melanoma developing in users of melanotan 2. Other reported side effects of melanotan 2 use uh, include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite and abdominal pain. There have also been reports of chest pain, breathlessness, kidney failure and dizziness. Melanotan 1 is a prescription medication used to manage a rare incurable genetic disease. Melanotan 2 is not approved by the TGA and its development as a potential medicine was halted years ago due to safety concerns. Dermatologists like Dr Catherine Armour are worried about its popularity online. It's concerning because so many, particularly young people, of course, do use social media as a common way to research their topics of interest. It's not the only drug being promoted online that has authorities worried. In the last three months alone, three and a half thousand roughly, uh, posts have been taken down in cooperation between TJ and social media companies. So yes, you're always chasing your tail a bit, but we've taken a significant proportion of harmful posts down. The TGA is targeting social media influencers and warning of big fines. It's already handed out $1.7 million worth of infringement notices since July. But John Skerritt admits it's hard to keep up. We have issued uh, a couple of hundred fines for, for inappropriate advertising or import and supply of products. So it's not a hypothetical. Uh, it, it's been millions of dollars in fines. In a statement, TikTok said it had banned hashtags relating to Melanotan and would continue removing videos that breached its community guidelines. But there's concern the consequences for social media platforms or influencers don't go far enough. As it stands, there isn't any legal recourse as against a social media pla platform and or an influencer if you do develop an adverse reaction to something you've taken that was uh, brought to your attention by the social media platform. Public liability lawyer Lily Boskovsky says the law has failed to keep up with the technology and influence of social media. 
I hope that in time, and I envisage in time, that there will be some changes to the law so that there can be recourse and for people affected by products, but also, I think, to, to protect the community. As the day heats up on Bondi Beach, Sam Brett is disappointed companies like hers are being treated the same as people promoting dangerous goods like melanotan. For sunscreen to be lumped in with illegal products that influencers are spruiking is absolutely ridiculous and insulting. No one denies the right of social media influencers to promote clothing, to promote cosmetics, to promote vacations, to even advocate what car they drive. But these are products that are used for people's health and if they're used inappropriately, they can cause a lot of harm. Authorities are still trying to find a balance between the risks and possibilities social media presents.